what do you expect at the end of the three years to be able to to do? I mean, I know you don't know that. I can the, tell you what I want. Tell me what you want at the end of the three years. I want four things to happen. So the first thing is that I, I want to know if hormone therapy can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. And I'm quite confident we'll have really solid data. Then I want to be able to measure estrogen in the brain because I think that we're not giving hormone therapy a fair chance, right? Because the way that the studies are done are indirect. We're using hormone therapy today and the way that we're assessing whether it works or not is I either ask you if you're feeling better, mm -hmm. which is statistically mm -hmm. not awesome, or I measure your cognitive performance, where your cognitive performance, if it has changed, is changed by one point. Mm -hmm. I can't run statistics on that, right? right? Or I wait 30 years right. to know if you're getting dementia, which is not obviously helpful to anyone. No. Or I can even measure biomarkers of Alzheimer's, but if I find a change, I don't know what's driving the change mm -hmm. in the brain. Mm -hmm. So what we need is a tool that allow us to measure estrogen activity in the brain. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely ridiculous that those tools have not been used.